go. I mentioned um, worshipping an image of the beast. Yeah. But because these guys will rise to power, yeah. Uh, the red dragon look, little uh, megaphone, Chinese propaganda, through the televisions uh, as they seek to uh, take over America, the heart of idolatry, the whore of Babylon, yeah, Ishtar, Statue of Liberty, New York, <coughs> Columbia Pictures. Babylon, also many believe will be a church, well, guess what, uh, the centre of religious worship is Hollywood and they will take over the churches, we will start seeing uh, Hollywood actors, world famous Hollywood actors appearing in churches, we're already going down that route, uh, it hasn't happened yet, but that's what's going to happen, <clears throat> and when that happens, flee to the mountains, okay? Flee to the mountains, as Jesus says, when you shall see the desolation of abomination, standing where it ought not, yeah? Flee to the mountains, flee to the mountains. Well, that's one way of interpreting it, but I, I think, well, even if that's not correct, I'm telling you, alright? When we start seeing idols, yeah, appearing in churches, pop idols, Get out of there. Jokes. Uh, yeah. It's a religion in, in South Korea, or North Korea, I don't know, Korea. It's a religion in Korea where citizens uh, are required to worship a poster of their two dead presidents. Um, now, we're already worshipping the beast, as I've explained, but when these guys take over, they will make us worship uh, an image of the Antichrist as well, alright? And again, they'll do it through TV. <coughs> Bible says, whoever doesn't worship the image uh, of the beast will be killed. And it, this is what they do. Yeah. Um, whoever doesn't uh, believe in their propaganda, yeah, spewing out of the mouth of a red dragon, yeah. Um, they're killed. This is what communism is all about. They've done this before. <clears throat> so, again, already underway, already happened. Mark of the Beast, already happened. Killed for not worshipping an image of the Beast, already happened. <clears throat> and already happening right now as we speak all right so <clears throat> yeah then like i said before it's the biggest threat to humanity right well, actually the biggest threat to humanity is idolatry, worshipping the image of the beast, which I'm afraid we've, we've all been uh, duped into doing. But the second biggest threat is going to be this. <coughs> Communism taking over the world. <coughs> okay. Uh, I've made some notes on this, so bear with me here. <coughs> yeah, here we go. Whoever 
doesn't believe in the communist propaganda promulgated by Hollywood, which the, yeah, Hollywood, which the Red Dragon will take over, yeah, Red Dragon being China and Russia, <coughs> the two horns, yeah, two horns, I'll come to that in a minute, uh, two horns of a Red Dragon, <coughs> <clears throat> they will they will be slain uh, with a sword. And that is Revelation. I'll pop it up on the screen. This propaganda will be very anti-Christian, as it is already in that part of the world. Uh, and it will influence the whole world into despising God and following the beast or Ein Führer. Okay, you've heard of Mother Russia. Well, there's going to be a father, America, all right? But it won't be America as we know it. It will be an America taken over by the Red Dragon. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be overrun. <coughs> Uh, the other thing I always point out, I'm, I'm pointing more and more towards an Asiatic Antichrist um, in the end. Nostradamus mentions a European Antichrist and also an Asiatic Antichrist. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going with that as well. It doesn't say in Revelation, but there will be two Antichrists. Uh, I think... Maybe European, as it has always been throughout history, but <coughs> and he he may cause the most hor horrific violence. But throughout world history, the largest genocide in the world, yeah, has always been here. Always been here. Mao Zedong, okay, uh, Stalin as well. Uh, <coughs> And we had Kim Jong Il of South Korea, right? That there's no his son has now taken over. Uh, <coughs> and I mean, they're maniacs, right? Complete maniacs. Whether one believes in Book of Revelation or not. It is imperative to understand that there are megalomaniacs in control of the world yeah, who are deliberately attempting to fulfil end time prophecies, right? especially over here. So whether you believe in it or not, okay, this is what's going on. They absolutely believe in it, which is why it should be of utmost concern even to the non-believer. Yeah?